hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so on today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how i made this beautiful lovely and trendy george gown with trendy illusion wrapper or whatever name you want to call it so guys if you would like to see more videos like this please don't forget to subscribe like and share so without wasting much time let's get right into the video thank you so guys we are going to start first by cutting our skirt which is the lower part of the gown so i folded my fabric into two first we are cutting the front part then later on we'll cut the back part so the skirt length we'll be working with is 39 my skirt length is 39 and i'm adding two inches allowance which which will make it 41 now i've marked i've marked it out so i'm going to use my ruler to rule that's where the 41 started and the 41 ended at where the beat stopped so after this um this length we are going to take our waist measurements our hip measurement and our knee measurements please note i folded the fabric into two and we are cutting just the front part only after the front part we will cut the back part of the skirt this is the front part of the skirt we will cut the back part of the skirt later now um i'm folding uh, we are working with a waist measurement of 29 now i'm folding my tape into four then i'm taking the waist measurements as you can see after taking the waist measurement, we are going to add 2 inches sewing allowance. Please note, for the front part of this skirt, there is no that. I Me, mean, I don't usually like adding that to my front, to my front part of the skirt. Now, I'm going to measure where our hip measurement starts from and which is 8 inches downward and i'm going to measure our hip my hip the hip i'm working with is hip 40 i'm sorry hip 38 38 divided by 4 give us nine and a half and i've marked it and i'm adding two inches allowance after marking it we're going to connect later so the next measurement we'll be taking is the knee point the waist to knee point and the waist to knee point i like working with is eight um is 18 inches now i'm, mar I'm marking that 18 inches now for my knee round measurement i usually like to take my waist measurement whatsoever measurements i have on the waist i take it and i impute it on the knee measurement i don't like measuring my knee and this is what works for me you can do what works for you but if you take this method you will like it so this same measurement i'm taking here is the same measurement i'm going to impute on the lower part after that we are going to connect now i'm putting this same measurement on the lower part and after that we're going to use our ruler to connect So guys we're connecting now from the waist to the hip first then from the hip to the knee just easy simple and easy it's just a regular skirt this is just how to cut a regular skirt any type of skirt at all please guys make sure to curve your hip don't make it pointy you know if you rule it if you um, mark it with a ruler it's going to be pointy but just try as much as possible to you know curve the hip you know the hip is not pointy it's curved so you're going to curve it anywhere that is pointy just try to curve it now we are going to use our scissors to cut it out we are done with measuring and um we're about cutting out the front part the next thing we're going to do is to just measure and cut out the back part please note there is no that on this front part i don't like adding that to my front part only the back part i don't know but do what works for you 
this is what i like doing it's not compulsory if you like you can add your dart so we are cutting the front part out and after that we are going to fold again and then cut out the back part of the skirt so guys we are going to cut the back parts now i'll fold the fabric into two again and i'm trying to make everything equal so i'm going to bring the front piece which we first cut out i'm going to bring it and i'm going to place it on this um, folded fabric i'm going to place it in a way that the folded part will be facing inward and the open part will be facing outside i don't know if you understand but just watch this video and you will understand what i'm trying to say so now the only difference we are going to make now is that we are going to add our zipper allowance which is two inches and that we are going to add our that allowance so I'm, I'm trying to make sure that every part is equal and the fabric i folded is excess i'm trying to reduce it so i don't waste much fabric now i'm adding two inches allowance for for i'm adding half sorry i'm adding half inch allowance for the that half inch allowance then i'm going to connect connect it yes the that allowance is just for the waist the hip is the same thing we are not altering the hips at all so i'm going to add two inches allowance for for the zipper allowance and i'm going to connect now there is something we're going to do for this zipper allowance it's called a um, bomb bomb curve you guys already know it so it's um, it's a way to shape your skirt you know the bomb bomb part of your skirt it's just a way to shape it to you know bring it out so i'm marking 12 inches first and i'm marking 16 inches now from this this 12 inches i'm going to make a row so that i will know where i will connect from i'm going to be connecting from half inch downwards up to the two inches allowance upwards just the same way i'm doing this i'm going to connect it's kind of a curve you know to bring out your your boot to bring out your bumble mouth you know to give that skirt a shape then i'm going to connect half inches downwards then half inches downwards to where i marked that 16 inches now we're going to do our back slits you know any um length you want that's what you're going to measure for me i am measuring 20 my back slit is stopping at that's from the upper side to the lower part is stopping at 20. i don't want it too too open or should i say i don't want the slit to be too long but do what works for you do what works for you actually so i'm going to mark it out and um connect that half inches allowance down to that place where my back slit is going to start from So guys, we're going to cut, we're going to use our scissors and cut. Just watch the way I am going to cut the skirt out. This tutorial is very easy and simple. A beginner can do this too. So I'm cutting it out now. so guys we are done cutting this is the back piece and i'm going to bring the front piece to to join it together so remember for stitching we are joining the front 
front part facing the front part and we are stitching our waist with one and a half inch and then for our hip we are using two inches allowance straight down please remember we are cutting we're going to use the same main fabric to cut out our lining i'm joining the main fabric then joining the lining together then later on i'm going to use the lining to turn the main fabric this tutorial is just easy and simple whatsoever you don't understand just take the video back and rewatch it thank you so guys this is the pattern paper for for the blouse that's the upper part of our um the upper part of the gown which is the blouse part i'm sorry i lost the main clip where i was um cutting it out cutting this pattern paper out uh, but i'm going to look for it and insert it so i've placed all the pattern paper this is a corset top a corset blouse sorry i placed it all on the lining and uh, on the duchess material and i'm going to cut it out i'm just adding half inches round this pattern paper and this is what it's looking like that's back piece and this is the front piece and this is our cup so i'm going to go and then join them together join everything together i'm joining everything together with half an inch i'm going to sew it up and i'm going to show you guys so guys this is what it's looking like i've joined all the pieces together this is our front part i joined every piece with half inch as you can see and i've ironed it out so i'm going to bring in our boning um and i want to do an invisible boning an invisible boning method sorry for that part i didn't stitch that part up but i'm going to do that so i'm going to use our boning and do an invisible boning sew it up and then i'll show you guys what it's looking like So guys, this is the main fabric and this is the cup part. I've already joined everything together and that's the lining. Just note that whatsoever you do to the main fabric is what you do to the lining too. So this is the lining and that's the main fabric. This is also for the back part, the main fabric and of course the lining so i will go ahead now to fixing all our boning and i will show you guys what it's looking like so guys um i want to fix our boning now remember i told you guys we are doing an invisible boning this invisible boning method is a way that you sew the boning and um, the line the stitches will not show on the right side of the fabric people won't even know that there is boning attached to that dress that that you made so we're going to sew it um we're going to lift up the allowance place your boning and then sew remember we are sewing on the two edges on we are sewing on the two edges of the boning that's to make it strong we're just going to lift your allowance lift it up then take fold the fabric inward fold the main fabric inward and then place your boning so guys i'm done sewing all the bonings and this is what it's looking like you can see that if if you raise it up you won't see any stitch the stitch is just showing on the allowance and when you turn the fabric you won't even see any line showing that there is a boning there is boning in that on that dress or that will show that we made we saw the boning on that dress so guys moving on this is what the front part is looking like there is no lines at all you won't even know that's the sweet part about this invisible boning so guys moving on i'll fist our cup i'm sorry my 
phone stopped recording and i didn't even know so i've already fixed our cup i'm going to try to make a separate tutorial on how i fix this cup so i fixed the cup and i've i've joined the lining and the main fabric together i just joined it remember we cut this and cut it as a v-shape that's the the neckline it's kind of an illusion we make the 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 middle parts deep so i've already joined um the lining and i'm going to just trim out this excess i'm going to make a notch around it trim out the excess and turn the fabric this is what it's looking like inward this is our invisible boning but for the lining parts i didn't do invisible boning i just sewed the boning directly on directly on on the on the lining well for the front part i just did invisible boning so guys i'm going to turn it out now and i'm going to iron so guys i've turned it out and this is what it's looking like i haven't ironed it out yet when i iron it everything is going to be smooth so our corset blouse is getting ready or should i say our corset top is getting ready this day in inner part this is what it's looking like this is so beautiful this is the easiest way to make a corset top please note this is a gown not a skirt and a blouse but i'm just calling this upper part a blouse so guys so guys i'm going to iron it out and after ironing we're going to attach our illusion net that's the illusion net carrying the shoulder so um, this is the illusion net for the bar i don't know what's wrong with my phone it's not recording i've lost so many clips already so um, i'm attaching the illusion net for the back and this is how it is so guys i'm going to use the the lining to turn the main fabric please ensure to use your hemming gum to also stitch after stitching notch and then we're going to turn the fabric out we're just going to stitch i'm not stitching the the armhole side i'm just stitching the upper part and the two sides now i'm going to notch trim out excess and then turn the fabrics out as you can see for the main fabric we did a visible boning too for the back then for the lining we just did normal boning just did normal boning so i've turned it out and this is what it's looking like so i'm going to iron it out and then i'm going to to join this back part with the front part so guys this is the skirt part before you join the skirt i'm just trying to remove all these stones so that it can enable us so to avoid our needles from breaking so first i'm going to add um the dart which is half inches you know the dart is just only at the back part of the skirt so i folded the fabric into two and then i'm taking the dart half inches then four inches long so after that i'm going to join the skirt the front side and the back side so i'm using one and a half inch for the waist and for the hipper part sorry i used two inches and not one inch i used two inches to join the skirt so guys i'm done with the blouse and i've turned it out i've ironed it so it's time for us to join the blouse with the skirt now i'm putting my tape on my under bust and then marking our waist so on this waist i'm taking i'm just marking it with a chalk straight straight to the back straight to the other side of the back now we are going to make a back corset we are going to use our chalk to carve it in a v shape we already know how to cut a back corset so on the skirt part i've already cut out three inches only on the front side that's to give us a back corset shape now i'm going to notch the center of the skirt and i'm going to use my pin to pin it down from the middle i'm going to pin down the middle of the skirt with the middle of the blouse i'm going to pin it straight down following this line that i made to the back just this way it's showing in the video 
it's very easy this video just keep rewinding and uh, keep watching it rewind and then go back now i've already pinned it and now i'm going to sew please remember not to sew where the boning is we're going to sew with half inch we're going to make a bass corset this this is like a bass form bass corset form so this is how we are going to sew it now so when we are done i'll come and show you how it's looking like so guys this is how it's looking like this is the trendy corset style now i'm already done with it i've already fixed my zip and i'm looking all snatched i've not even dragged it i'm not even looking snatched the way i want so now i'm going to start attaching the appliques this is how it's looking now i'm going to start attaching the appliques our corset our dress is already ready like it's giving already it's so giving now as you can see on this video i'm already attaching the appliques i'm using a glue gum to attach the appliques you know you can play around with your appliques any style you want to make any design you want to make you can just play around with it the dress is already given like i said on this video please if you don't understand anything just rewind watch the video again and you will understand we are almost done this is the finished look and so this is me testing it trying it out we're already done it's given already so i'm going to bring out um the illusion wrapper that's the the george wrapper so i'm going to show you guys how how to tie it so we are going to we are going to tie it in the form of dripping here you're going to work with your needle and thread and you're going to work with a skirt hook you're going to drip this wrapper the way you want you know like drip you know how to do dripping then you're going to use needle and thread to attach your hook attach the hook on the wrapper attach it on the dress too i'm going to show you guys how how to do it you're going to use a um, needle and thread do this draping that's how to get this um illusion this trendy this trendy rapper george style so you see how it's looking already so beautiful now you're going to see me on the d day how beautiful and lovely this dress looks on me please guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please i'm begging you please subscribe subscribe for more lovely videos like this please like and share and comment if there's anything you want to ask please ask me on the comment section don't forget to subscribe i'm begging you all please thank you now i'm going to show you guys how i look on my day So guys, this is me and this is how beautiful I look on the dress. Thank you very much for watching.